Food seems to taste extra good, and here to help us with the best flavors of fall is Carmen Villadu from Carmen's Kitchen Table. So welcome. Thank you for having me. It smells great already. We haven't even finished it. I know. Right? I know. So what have we got in the salad? Yeah, so with fall, I just think, you know, we're so used to our traditional salads in the summer. So the cucumbers and tomatoes and all that great mm -hmm. fresh produce that we're getting out of our gardens. And so with fall, I like to think more like apples and craisins and maybe the mandarin oranges mm -hmm. and things like that. And so we have a really great flavor that just came into the store for our salad dressings and it's called cranberry spice and so it's a balsamic vinegar and this is a really fun one to play around with so I thought we would do a salad dressing with that today okay. so if do you want to sample it and sure. see what it tastes sure. like and you know one of my favorite things to do when we go into your store is sample the vinegars absolutely and you can sample any of the flavors that we have so okay. this one here is our cranberry spice okay. it has the spice is not spicy so sometimes we get asked that it's more so those cinnamon the notes the nutmeg, the cloves, mm -hmm. kind of those flavors. And so really good. And with that one, we're going to pair our Tuscan herb, which is just a really mild um, olive oil that has those rosemary and just kind of those nice fall flavors with it. It's not very often that you can actually taste vinegar like that. I and know. And, and people always go, really, you want me to try it? I always say, if it wasn't good, I wouldn't have you trying <laughs> this. So, so just trust me. Um, so we have these really nice little shaker bottles, and everyone's like, well, how much do you add? And I'm more of a, a little bit of this and a little bit of this, and we're going to whisk it up. But if you have questions, we always have these bottles here. And what's great is it's for salad dressings. It has creamy vinaigrettes on it. Um, oh, yeah, so it's got all the it's labeled. It has all the different measurements on the side barbecue sauces, marinades for meats, things like that. Okay. So we're going to... Takes I, the work out of it. It takes you. the work and the guesswork out of it. So I have our olive oil in here and our balsamic vinegar. Okay. To that, you can add a little bit of seasoning. So I have our um, Mediterranean rosemary rub here, okay. which is really great. It calls for a teaspoon. It tells you how much on the side here if you wanted to add it. So we're just going to add a little bit here. And again, I'm just going to guess. Megan, do you make your own salad dressings, or do you go with the bottles? I usually go with a bottle, but are you a ranch girl? I'm ranch. <laughs> Everybody's a ranch. Now we got to get converted. Yep. Yeah. And then we're just going to add a little bit of sea salt. And so I just picked a rosemary sea salt to go ahead and complement that. And you just put that right on in there. Salt is usually pretty important in salad. It dressing. is. Yep. It just you know it gives it that little punch of flavor mm -hmm. that you need. And two for adding it to your marinades and things like that. We're just going to give it a little shake. And you're done. This pop into the fridge. It's good to go. Oh, you can you can keep it then. You don't Absolutely. Have to use it yep. And you can go. either keep it on the um, your counter or in the fridge. Either one is okay. fine. And I would say easily up to two weeks. All right. And so with our salad, I have our lettuce here already. I put the apple out because sometimes a nice crunch is really mm -hmm. good in a salad. I have craisins here, and then I like blue cheese. Little blue cheese. Sure. Um, if you don't, feta is a great option. Adding a walnut to it. So just thinking of kind of those nice fall flavors, and I think you have a really fantastic lunch here for, pretty too. for um, a salad for lunch, or if you wanted to add some proteins to it, mm. grilled chicken breast or a pork chop, something like that, and you have a complete meal. So yeah, really, all you have to do if you wanted to do that is just add, you know, yeah. a chicken would go really well with this. Yes, or shrimp, anything like that, and you are all done. We got about a minute left here. What do we got yeah. coming up? Yeah, so coming up in the store, we are doing a sidewalk sale. We have so many fun things coming in for the holiday season. Our Christmas reveal is next Saturday, so I have is. some little sneak peeks. Our geometry towels are always so popular. These are made out of recycled water bottles, mm -hmm. so people love these here. Um, we still have some Halloween things, so if you're doing a Halloween party on Thursday, it's hard to believe Halloween's already it coming is. up. It we is. still have some fun things for you there also. These are really cute, and they make great stocking stuffers too. Absolutely. So, yeah. so yep, all the Halloween, Christmas things will be out um, next Saturday, so come up and see us. All right, we will. I'm assuming you're going to let us try this. Absolutely. So we got to throw the dressing on Let's there. Let's and... throw that on there for you guys. Mm. Um, when you, is Christmas, I assume, is a, is a really busy time for you when people it are is. coming in looking for gifts and things for. Yep. What's your biggest seller at Christmas time? Oh boy. You know, I would say our olive oils and vinegars are always mm. a really great draw for everybody. Um, we have recipe cards in the Here store. You go, girl. And so we can always um, pick a recipe card. We can pull together the olive oils and vinegars for you. If you give us a price point that you want to stick around, we are really good at helping you find that perfect gift for your friends and family. Now, there's no way to do this with any sort of grace, so I'm going to do it. You go right break. ahead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Megan, coming up, we're talking about an up.